Jimmy, that was a, uh, a battling game out there, but in the end, coming home with the three points. How do you sum up the game? Um, hard wa- a hard watch, if I'm being honest. Conditions, you know, weren't conducive to, a, to, a, to a, an enjoyable game of football. I think the ball was out of play more than it was in play. Um, you know, you're playing against a team fighting for their lives. Still in the in the in the mix of, of relegation, and, and sort of you know what to expect. The conditions dictated that the game had to be a certain way, and um, said it. Tavistock very proud. Had we not scored the late goal, I'd have still been proud because it was hard there today. Couldn't pass the ball on the pitch. The wind dictated what happened with the ball in the air. It was. It was a difficult game uh, all around, um, and the conditions dictated that uh, we, we we played to the conditions and come out winners. It's it's that's what it's about at this point in the in the in the, in the league. Um, it's about finding a way, and my boys found a way today, and I'm really really pleased they did because they deserved to. The first half was a real grind with chances at a premium but the, we started the second half really strongly what was the message in the uh, in the dressing room at half time um, just keep going and chances will come you know just just keep trying to move the other team around as best you can um, and chances will come you know um, it, it was one of them it was going to be a game decided on either a moment of absolute brilliance um, or, or, a, or, a, or a mistake like, like the penalty was a mistake by him. He can't, he's gone flying in, no need, just no need at all. But that's the plan he did because it's, uh, it's helped us get what we deserve. In terms of the penalty, when we had yeah, a, a late penalty against Willand, you mentioned that you uh, you didn't watch it and you can't be really better watch it. You still didn't watch it today? I never watched, no. Never watched <laughs> penalties, never have. I took them, um, but I never watch them, no. I, I don't know. It's just something I've started, I did. And they scored, and so you keep doing it. Yeah, I just yeah, look, watching it means doesn't make, make any difference. It's, uh, so yeah, I don't watch it. I don't know why. There's no real reason. It just is what it is. Obviously, when you get into those real, those really tight moments at the end of games, at the end of seasons, you know, having those leaders who can step up and provide that calmness and leadership on the pitch is is great so you know Scott Rendell go, becomes league joint top scorer at the moment now after netting that penalty I think shows the kind of the measure of who he is I deservedly so he's been different class all season he started every single game at 36 36 37 um, different, absolutely different class a lot of teams would have buckled today when we um, when they they equalise on with four minutes to play a lot of teams would have buckled, we, we didn't, and that's that's really pleasing. Fans were incredible, brought a great atmosphere. Um, it was like a, a football game, you know. It was it was it was good. I'm, I'm, it's sad that they couldn't watch a really nice, you know, flowing game of football. They had to watch a a war. But it's good when your team wins a war. It felt like your substitutions were, were really impactful. Ethan Taylor won the late penalty. I thought Charlie Davis and Connor Whiteley had, you know, were very bright when they came on as well. Was it a, a case of just getting fresh legs on, changing the system slightly? Yeah, of course. It was exactly that. You know, the game was hard. So if you can bring legs on and, and get people running in behind people and get people stretching the other team when they're, when they're tired, of course, you know, that's exactly what, what we've got. We've got a fantastic squad. And with everyone fit now, it's uh, it's very positive. And then, obviously, not a lot of time to uh, to break this one down because back on the road again against Melksham on Wednesday. Yes, yeah, exactly what you want after a game like that and a last-minute winner. You know the lads. You know I imagine they they, they they wish Wednesday was tomorrow because I think they'd go and play again because you know they're they're, they're they're buzzing, they're flying, and they're playing great, fighting. Like I said, had it any way you want it. You know, any way you want it, we'll, we'll come and have a game with you. So that's, and every good side I've ever been involved in, either managing or playing in, that's been how it's been. Any way you want it, you want to have a scrap, not a problem. If you want to play football, even better. Brilliant. See you on Wednesday. Cheers, mate.